Nice to have you with us tonight. Bars and clubs were among the last places to reopen, but tonight workers tell us what they've seen since then has compelled them to speak up about your safety. Ann is joining us from home and our Mary Mills has the message from those on the inside. You've seen the video of hot spots across the country, jam-packed bars void of social distancing. This photo causing a stir here. It shows a long line of people outside Tiki Bob's, people crowded together, most without masks. Bar owner Jason Stellema told me they can't enforce social distancing on city sidewalks just when patrons come inside where the bar is operating at 50% capacity. Here in Broad Ripple, where the main drag remains closed to give bars and restaurants more space. If you know something is wrong, you have to say something. It's not okay anymore. This woman, who doesn't want to be identified, is a bartender at Land Sharks. She and another employee who works security don't believe enough is being done to protect people. Protocol has not been followed at all, other than they set hand sanitizer inside and make us wear masks, but other than that, there's occupancy has been failed every time. They say their worst fears came Friday when they learned the bar's manager tested positive for COVID. This is not a cold. This is not the sniffles. This could possibly death. Could possibly be death. I have a newborn child fresh out of the NICU at home, and I couldn't even go home Saturday because I had to wait on my test results because I didn't want to get him sick. The manager confirmed he has COVID, but told me he hasn't been at Land Sharks in a week, and when he is there, he always wears a mask. The bar was never closed, but the manager says it was sanitized after his diagnosis. Wilden and his colleagues say that's not the case, and they feel compelled to speak up, no matter what the consequences. Basically, that's saying, I don't care about my customers or my employees. You're putting their health at risk and you do nothing to prevent the disease. I love this place. This is truly my heart. This is my passion. This is that fun job that you love to go to, that you wake up to go to, but I cannot let anybody be at risk. I won't. Now, the owner of Land Sharks told 13 News that the employees' claims are, quote, absolutely false, saying they've taken every precaution they can. We did contact the county health officials who have confirmed that they have received complaints about Land Sharks and other bars that are allegedly not following COVID-19 rules. So far, no businesses, however, have officially been cited.